NXT and a NXT commentator Booker T uh, went on his but went on his podcast and he was talking about the AEW fans and he even referred to them as a cult. Do you believe that all elite wrestling fans are a cult or no? Yes and no, but you could argue that about WWE fans. You kind of can't help but to, I guess, in this day and age, because people like to be part of something. They like to be part of a category. And I think when it comes to, like, AEW, I mean, yeah, that you do have to have, like, an acquired taste to like that promotion. Um, obviously, the people that like AEW tend to pay attention to other promotions, the indie stuff. They like to pay attention a lot to the wrestling. Um, and... I do notice when I go on like Facebook or I go on Twitter um, and you try to like make any type of like appreciation post towards something that Hunter did, for example, for some reason, like the there's like these these drones <laughs> from AEW that just come flying in and they just want to just like drop missiles and just like stop your whole entire post out because they're just like, well, he didn't do this or it's better over here because TK did this or WWE has done this, this, this in the past, and it's just like I. Th I feel like both companies have redeemable qualities, and I feel like they also have extremely shitty qualities. But that's any company that you go for. Um, but there's going to be diehards wherever you go. Do I think that every person that's an AEW fan is, you know, part of the cult? No, but do I think that there's people who are just like they make they make me cringe as a wrestling fan because they're they don't know how to go about liking just one promotion and just kind of keeping it cool. Like, you know, they like AEW and they respect that you may like, you know, WWE or you may like a different promotion outside of it. Um, cult is such a strong word though. I don't know, but I go ahead and say cult, but because again, there are WWE diehards who just refuse to like tune into anything that's not WWE and they'll die on that hill. You know, I think we had that experience in our spaces before. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I, what, I forgot what was that gentleman's name, but like we had a whole dispute about three spaces ago where some guy went in about like why WWE is the most superior yeah. promotion. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And it, it got very chaotic. It got very intense. You know, that would be the perfect time if we had that whole clip. Oh yes. God. Like that'd be the perfect thing for the subject because that's what it looks like when it gets to cult territory. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say just AEW. I feel like it's arguable that there's WWE cult fans. And then you have fans that like everything. They're just here for wrestling. And you have the casuals. They're just, they just, you know, they pop in when they want to pop in. But do you think that, you know, there's AEW cult fans? I don't think that there's AEW cult fans. However, I do feel like the pattern is that there, the, there's a good amount of fans outside of WWE that seem to be oddly passionate about things that are not WWE. I'll give you an example. Um, there was one time... Nora, I, and Angie went to this New Japan uh, Ring of Honor Supercard WrestleMania weekend when it was in New York, and we were chilling, and New Japan was airing a package, and they were like, New Japan Pro Wrestling, the, the largest pro wrestling company in the world, and then the guy, there was like a guy behind us that was like, yeah, WWE, and it was just like, we weren't even talking about them. Like we we weren't even like nobody said anything about WWE, mm -hmm. but I feel like there are there is a segment of the population that's just like so anti WWE that it's, that it, it's just odd. Like I I I you know tend to be very very critical of the on screen product of any company, but to say that there's nothing going on that's good in WWE is just weird because there are good things in WWE. Just like there's good things in AEW and good things in Impact and good things in New Japan. I agree. But I feel like, I feel like the, 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 the challenge here is that, and this is part of the reason why I believe that All Elite Wrestling has rose to prominence, is because, because since WWE has had a commitment to a PG product, there's a segment of the audience that felt ostracized. There's a segment of the, a segment of the audience that felt left out, that felt unheard. And All Elite Wrestling, with their on-screen product, championed for those people. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very similar. And I mean, I mean, it's it's not the same because it's two different worlds and social climates and context. It's very similar to the rise of Trump, right? How Trump kind of came up and while he was bugging out, 
it was like he was championing for people that felt unheard or left out or overlooked. And because he was able to tap into that audience, he was able to gain an abnormal amount of support than we had expected. It's the same thing with AEW, in my opinion. I, and I feel like there are people who are passionate about AEW. I think sometimes it can get a little bit weird, a little bit odd. Just like I feel like there's some people that I feel like are a little bit too oddly passionate about WWE to the point where they don't try to critique the product or act as if anything is right about it or act if anything is wrong. And I think that that's wrong. But to say that it's a cult, mm, no, not necessarily. I wouldn't say that it's a cult. But that's just my opinion on it. So, no, I agree with that. I, I actually like that point a lot. Um, but you know what's the weirdest thing about AEW fans? It's just that, like, you wouldn't like wrestling if it wasn't for WWE. So it's just odd to me <laughs> when they go out of their way to shit on it. Because, like, again, I, there's a lot of things that are wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, they, it's still a work in progress. I think every mm-hmm. company is a work in progress. But what pisses me off is that something that, that WWE will do, sometimes AEW will do, and they'll shit on it if WWE does it, but if AEW does it, they for some reason will praise it and make some weird exception and try mm-hmm. to like build it out to be something super elaborate. And it's like, no, it's kind of like a WWE 101 formula that they just use. And right. you don't like you don't like it when Vince or a Triple H does it, but when they do it over here, it's like, oh my gosh, Cody calls a fucking like master. Oh my god, that was so funny. That was so quirky. It's just like, shut up. <laughs> like, shut up. Like they irritate me. Like sometimes I have to get off that side of Twitter and just give myself some time to breathe because I can't with the whole back and forth. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm just a fan of wrestling. I'm just a fan of pro wrestling. You know, if it's good, it's good. If it sucks, it sucks. And that goes for if even it's my fave or not. I don't care. Like whoever's in the, in the seat, if you're, if they're doing a good job, I'm going to praise it. If they're not doing a good job, I'm going to shit all over it. I just want to see the product be good. I want to be entertained. That's it. I feel like that's a great place to end on that note. So we want to know from y'all, how do y'all feel about AEW fans? Do you believe that a Do you believe that Booker was right as far as AEW fans being a cult or not? Let us know in the comments. But moving on, <coughs> and speaking of AEW, hold on, I just got to make sure. I, yeah, speaking of AEW, uh, Kenny Omega had some some very 